Hi, my name is Roy Sasai, and I'll be helping in demoing the hand drill method with uh, friction by fire. Mike? And my name is Mike Dudgeon, and I'll be helping Roy with the process of making fire by friction. So to do the fire by friction method, you'll need two materials. One is the spindle, which is a long straight stick, and then also a hearth board. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the hand position. You'll be using the fleshy part of your hand, and also you'll be putting it in sort of like a loose V position on the spindle. Let's go ahead and get started. Mike is actually putting the spindle into the notch area of the board, and he's gonna start spinning it up and down. As he gets to the bottom, He's going to hold it with one hand and re-grab again. So you don't want that spindle coming out of the hole. For example, you don't want to do this. As it pops out, you lose a lot of heat. That means you have to actually put in more energy to get that thing warmed up again. So the key thing in the beginning is to warm up your board first. And with a partner, you can actually switch off. When you do switch, always keep that spindle tip in the notch hole area. So let's get started. Mike is going to start first and warm up that board. If you have maybe two partners, you switch off. You can have more than two. You can have two, three, four, five, depending on how many people you have around you. Always utilize the people around you. Indigenous cultures always worked as a team. So the two components to the fire by friction method is spindle rotation and downward pressure to create friction. As you're grinding the two woods together, you'll see some doors, some dust forming in the notch area. And with enough friction and spindle rotation, you might even get smoke. You notice how Mike is actually holding the hearth board for Roy to keep it stable. Okay, you know, this is the last two one I can hear. I think we got it. Yeah, Roy got the, uh, Roy the final got ember there. So what Roy's going to do now is take the dust off of that leaf. Then he's going to put it into a tinder bundle. give it some oxygen. So the three components to a fire is a combustible material, a heat source, which is that glowing ember, and now he's going to feed it oxygen. So that's part of what we call the fire triangle. And for your nest, you need something that is very coarse, and in the middle there is some really fine fluffy cattail down in there so that it extends the heat of the ember. And you notice how Roy is actually utilizing the wind by having it blow from his back. It's not as apparent but always utilize the wind to help you provide that oxygen also. Heat rises, smoke rises. So you want some of that coarse material on the top to ignite into a flame.
and it's almost there. And we got fire. And also you want to make sure that uh, you handle fire with care by putting it in a container so that you don't ignite the area. So the fire by friction method. And then just by covering the fire, eliminating the oxygen, you put the fire out. And I want to thank Roy Sasai and also Mike Dudgeon for this demonstration.